What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 10 weird things I saw at Walmart visiting the USA as a European. I do believe this has a few clips in Walmart. Okay. Um, so it's not just talking about it, which is super exciting because we haven't actually done any videos in Walmart, have we? No, we've never been to Walmart. We've never been, been to, to Walmart. We've um, seen some Target videos. Yeah, we've seen some Target videos, went to Target, but never seen Walmart. No. Um, I think, well, I say we've, seen, we've probably seen it on TV every so often on movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but think... in terms of a realistic, somebody actually going to a public one yeah. in person, we've not seen ever. No. This should be exciting. It should be. Smash that button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Are you ready to get into it? I am. What have we got? 10 weird things I saw at Walmart visiting the USA as a European. Links in the description to the video. Check it out. But what should we do? Wait till after. Let's go. If this happened in a store in Europe, it would be very confrontational. Oh, okay. American cereal. Do people take them who don't need them? So today I'm going to take you on a little tour around Walmart as I experience it as an Irish person in the United States of the America. Walmart, I think you know you're something special. You're different. Yeehaw. It's definitely mega. These are freedom napkins. <laughs> I like that. Land of the free. It's just patriotic stuff everywhere. Is this around 4th of July, I'm thinking? Oh, I don't know. Let us know. Is this just 4th of July or is this I'm always? I'm actually super digging these earrings and I'm going to get them. The first time I went to Walmart, it was absolutely overwhelming. But today I'm going in with a fresh mind. I was actually pretty excited to go back to Walmart. I okay, felt so like it's I the second time. I okay. for it during the year. Years. So no, or is she saying her going back to Walmart as in she's recapping? Oh, I don't know. She says she's going in with a fresh mind. I think she might be going back as in revisiting in her mind. And going watching it. All. Maybe, yeah. yeah, maybe. That's a good spot. Okay. Today's video is brought to you by channel members and patrons. It's a fun little gang to be in if you want extra stuff and things. Join us here. Or here. Or here. I don't know where she puts the crossing. Okay, so the first thing that is surprising when I go to Walmart is people ask to see your receipt. People who work there it would be very strange if it was people who didn't work there. Similar to Costco. But if yeah. this happened in a store in Europe, it would be very confrontational. Like they would have to suspect that you had robbed something, whereas I'm led to understand that it's kind of standard practice in Walmart. Like they just okay. spot check people. Yeah, definitely standard in Costco. Costco. In Costco, you expect it in the UK. Um... But I don't I, know, maybe like Ikea, like the big... I don't think, I, I feel like if it happened anywhere else, it would kind of be like, oh, you, yeah. you think I'm stealing something, it would be kind but of maybe, weird. Because she said it's a Walmart thing, maybe it would be weird in somewhere else. It yeah, let's know. Like Target would be Yeah, let's know, is that a common thing? Um, it's, not, it's definitely a Costco thing. But like Costco, be actually like, yeah, there you go. Happy days. But, yeah, but yeah. it's just a Walmart version of that. Maybe, because a lot of the time in but Costco, then, when you get to the till, you leave it all in your trolley, and they kind of just scan it so it's easier to check you definitely paid things, for yeah. it. He said, because you don't pick it up and let's say put it on the till. The next surprising thing is the free shopping trolleys. Now, a lot of people seem to be confused. Oh yeah, we have coins in us. Visited an Aldi or a little. No, we don't. They're very similar to. Not in Jersey. Oh. We have where you put the in England, in we the do. Trolley. Yeah, sorry. It's like, hang on a minute. No, we in, don't. In Jersey, we got no in coin Jersey. ones shopping uh, trolleys. But in the UK, it's exactly like that. Yeah, okay. everywhere in the UK. In France like that. is the same as well. Because a lot of people have like little tokens on the keys, which are like pound coins, and you can put your token uh, in. Okay. So you get like... pound coin back, do you? You do get it back, yeah, but it's in case you forgot it, I guess, or lost it. In France, they have. Coins. Oh, well, there you trolley, go. And then at the end of your trolleyingness. Daddy's speaking English. Oh, sorry. Cart. Cart. That's what Americans say. At the end of your shopping, you return the cart and you get your coin back. I think is a lot of Americans are familiar with but that. But you don't always have a pound coin on you. Aldi and Little. Is or... that. Sorry, there's a lot of points. This is such a long video. It's, um, <laughs> is that maybe to stop them being stolen? Yeah, it's just stop them okay. being stolen. I was um, like, because what's the point? Because you're not making money. But then the issue is, is if you don't have that coin, like on your keys or whatever, you and you don't have a pound coin on you, how do you get a trolley? I'm sure you could go into the little things. So... And then you'd have to exchange it somewhere. Yeah. It's hard, but you have it's hassle. One of those, not the other, right? But what surprised me as well was the fact that you have cup holders in your shopping cart. Oh, that's Target. awesome. That's, oh, yeah. that's smart. Number three, there are way more people on the floor doing stuff, customer service things. And that's just American customer in service. Europe, usually, it's kind of hard to find somebody. Like there will usually be somebody every two aisles or so yeah. and you can ask them stuff. But literally pretty much every aisle that I was in in Walmart had at least two or three people. That's, good. That's a lot of people. Another thing, this is a big one that surprised me, is that you have other products and companies working out of the store. It's like a department store, but Walmart doesn't classify itself as a department store. So you might have Apple or telephone oh, companies. Okay. Oh my gosh, those so, people really, they do a hard sell. I understand. 
Definitely not in Jersey. No, we don't have it in Jersey. But Asda, where your dad lives, they have a little... A few little, little ones photo, at the start, like yeah. A, you could go print photos out. Print photos. But it's um, not, a it's pharmacy. not Asda. It's a different... They don't have the big retail brands like Apple, though, or anything like that. Oh, no, no, but it's like... A little bit of a... Di- yeah, kind of similar, but on a tiny I'm scale. just trying to relate. No, definitely, yeah, yeah. I'm there minding my own business, and this guy came up to me and was like, ma'am, your shoe is untied. And I was like, oh, and he's like, it's not actually. I just wanted to ask you about your phone plan. And I was like, <laughs> that's sneaky. But like, I'm not sneaking. American, so his efforts were futile. I looked this up and apparently it's called store in store. It allows external brands or companies to rent or lease a space within the Walmart store to sell their products directly to customers. But like you guys have opticians and hairdressers, posts, you even do medical services. <laughs> oh, yeah, and bad. then you have as seen on TV stuff, which is wild because you have actual people demonstrating stuff oh, just wow. like they're on TV, but then they have the TV behind them. That was kind of fun to watch. I stared a little bit too much the first time. We have a few of those. Oh, another weird thing that you have, and I love weird, is really long conveyor belts. Like, they are so long, which makes a lot of sense because I feel like American people buy more stuff. We do the big shop. You guys stock up. But there okay. are more people and more stuff, so longer can you can bolt by, can't you, America? Sense. Yeah. But the first time I saw one, I was like, oh, that's very long. Oh, and then there's your massive seasonal sections, like not just like a little set. In most stores in Europe, you'd love like this. Halloween coming up or Christmas, you'll have like a little section, Valentine's Day, like a little section. You guys have whole entire aisles dedicated to seasonal stuff. Yes, yeah, that's mad. That, like in our version of Dollar Tree, like deals or China Home, but not in our supermarket so much. We generally just have a small section. Yeah, we normally so, have a, a small you know, section. Again, it's, it's choice, but it's like it's seasonal. The next one is kind of funny and I had to actually Google it to confirm it wasn't just a demographic thing. People with disabilities working Oh, that picture wasn't going to be there. Now, obviously, what? people <laughs> That picture wasn't going to be there. Yeah, I think we are just putting it a bit late. Like, have we not talked about this? Yeah, no, we are just putting it a bit late. <laughs> people with disabilities working in Walmart. Now, obviously, people with disabilities like that. have that's, jobs that's awesome. throughout Europe. But I noticed in Walmart in particular, there were a lot of people with disabilities, people in wheelchairs, People with canes. I would assume they were blind. You never know. <laughs> so as readers, and I googled what the reason for this was, and apparently Walmart has a disability employment initiative. So they seem to have a lot of training stuff for people with disabilities and working with people with disabilities, and I think that's cool. That leads okay. me on to the next a, a thing. Random. 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 Yeah, he sounded very weird at the it's, start. Uh, yeah, I think she, I think she didn't. She, I guess they, it's a great, it's a lovely It's idea. an awesome so, scheme. It is, yeah. I've um, that. At the end of the day, if you can do your job no matter who you are you or able, what you got, yeah, you should be then able to have employed. a job. Yeah. Anyway, Definitely. that should be standard. Just a standard anywhere. A thing in Europe anywhere. Motorized cars? I don't what? know. It probably exists somewhere in some obscure supermarket, but I've never seen it in any supermarket I've been in in Europe. I wonder what the rules are. I was very tempted in the I want to see one of these. To take one of the motorized vehicles because there were like loads of them there is this like the, the cars you sit in with the trolley in the end yeah i'm thinking that like a um what they call not one of the kid ones disability, <laughs> no disability scooter like a but with a, a, with a trolley on the end i've seen them in have you in, um, I mean, i've never seen them but yeah. that's awesome but um if that is what yeah it's not quite um a trolley that moves by itself. <laughs> no, but you do with car trolleys <laughs> where the kids can sit in, in the, the car, car and you push them <laughs> You didn't want to be like depriving someone of them, but I just wanted to try one out and I do have a knee injury, but I wondered what the, uh, you know, the rules are about them. I assume not just anyone can take one, but what are the rules? It would just be joy riding around Walmart. I'm sure that's frowned upon. And finally, the size of the products. Oh my God, the size of the products. Your tins are huge. Bottles this is just of the US, isn't it? are huge. Packs of cereal are huge. Boxes, I wonder if that's why the conveyor belts are bigger. And like, yeah, because it makes stuff. sense if you have a family or something like that. But they still—they're very. We don't have those unless you go to like more of a bulk buying place, like a Costco. Sometimes they'll have like some huge thing, but it's just not a commonality. Like, I definitely the soda bottles really blew my mind because like I was just like, we don't have them. And I love, 
I am addicted to Diet Coke. I'm Diane and I'm addicted to Diet Coke. And I would buy those. I would be all over those. Nom, nom, nom. We have um, Iceland sells the big three litre chunky ones, doesn't it? Diet yeah, they do sell really chunky ones. How are they getting in America? It's yeah. only Iceland. They're the only place I've ever seen it. And they're three litres. And they're like, but they look so weird. They do. They? And I feel like it's a bit obsessive because I feel like by the time I got through them three litres, the bottom of that Coke's flat because I've opened it. Yeah, it's only good, sense. like, we got it when your mum was having a party. Yeah, for parties it's good. Like that. But, um, but they look so out of place. In the how shop. big does it go up in America? I'm assuming it, it don't go more than three it litres. It seemed to only be Diet Coke. Only Diet Coke for some reason, I yeah. I don't think it was, like, lemonade or anything. I know, I've only ever seen it at the shop, and I hardly I've ever seen it. I've only ever seen it at Diet Coke. Yeah, let us know in the comments. I've seen it a long time. <laughs> more of my Walmart experience. Oh, here we go. We're actually seeing Walmart. Again, massive. I like the blue. Mm. She didn't go for a motorised car. <laughs> This is a section I'm not going to need. Aww, that's nice. There's a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables. There is a lot. People are always saying it's hard to, to get them close to fishing, but um, looks decent. You say it's definitely else. in the fair. The trolley is really quiet. I always pick at the noisy trolley. Like, what is that? It's a big shop in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the, 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 the boxes do seem bigger. Yeah, and the packs. Like the ice, the box of ice cream, it seems like twice eggos, the size. Eggos, eggos, I know these from Stranger Things. Eggos? The actual abundance of things. So much stuff. Got me some hostess things for a video. Power waffles. Ooh. They make you powerful. I don't know if that's how it works. It's all in the mark. It's like smart water. Yeah, smart smell. water. <laughs> Me. I asked a dude today what his favourite fast food was, and he just said meat. Like, meat. Like, <laughs> there we go. Like it was a brand. Look at the size of those cans. Oh, look at mayo. That I mayo job. As a proportion. Look at it. That's at big. Tuna. Oh, those are what you that. need Our tuna's your... normally like that big. There's that here as well. But Literally. The syrup is huge too. I guess it makes oh sense my. though if you have like a family. They are massive like though. regular size as well. It's like a proper it's like watering can, aren't you? <laughs> it's like a watering you know, can. You know. <laughs> Look, mommy. Miracle Whip. I want to see the soda. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah, I know you called it soda. Is we call it. What do we call it? The Pillsbury Doughboy. Fizzy drink is. pop. Look at it. I don't call it pop. Yeah, for Northern. like Northern's pop. Uh, I just call it by the name of the drink. Coke, yeah, but we would say fizzy drink if you got fizzy drink. I think yeah. if you were saying if you got a, like if you got a soft, fizzy drink. Drink, soft drink, that's the word. On the menus in the restaurants, it's called soft. It drinks. says soft drinks, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, there's so much cooking stuff. Oh, we've had a few of them sent to us. Oh, if you had a birthday coming up, this would be amazing. I'd go and buy the nice birthday cake. Oh, so it's on the whole other side as well. You think it's over, but there's more. Ooh, I can oh, see so it. Jello. Jello. That's is that a jelly though, or jam? That is jelly. Or that, no, it's definitely jelly to yeah, us. What we call jelly. Yeah, yeah, but remember. No, I'm it. not getting into this bay. Wait, pause for a second. <laughs> I'm not getting into this bay. But the fact that there is four rows for jello. I know. Do you know what I mean? Like up and down. Like, look at all the flavours. Just for, that is that is actually mad. Um we call that jelly. Don't Vanilla. tell us we call anything else, we call that jelly. <laughs> Don't tell us. We, we call that jelly. We get confused. What are those? <laughs> cereal. So, so much cereal. cereal. I will never Go back get over on. how much choice. So much choice. They've got cornflakes. They've got Raisin grain, never heard of. Um, cornflakes, yep. Kellogg's. Cheerios, um, yep. Honey bunches, I think I've seen on ads. Um, the life looks like our cinnamon toast crunch. That we yeah, got. but I don't think we've got something called why, uh, life, have we? No, shredded wheat is mini wheat's wheat never wheat's had before. Wheat. Shredded wheat, yeah, we have shredded wheat. What are they called though? Shreddies. Shreddies, yeah. I think we do just have a shredded wheat brand oh, as well. Yeah. Um, there's a long, there's, there's a, cereal just goes on forever. Oh, That's mad. I will never get over how much choice you guys have in cereal. You don't know how lucky you are. Freaking love cereal. Oh, lucky charms. I need those. I'm not a big fan of you. Gross. I'm not the biggest Another fan of them. Another thing I love is pop tarts. Usually we need to try pop tarts. We get like some random flavor, maybe two. We only have one in our shop, oh, one flavor. Apart from the empty shelves. Strawberry. Strawberry. You guys have again so much choice. Whoa, are those like vintage ones? 
Throwback. Throwback, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Look, you can make pancakes with Lucky Charms. Oh, wow. How cool. Oh, we have got cinnamon toast crunch. They also have Lucky Charms treats. Nice. Wow. Okay. I love them. The yeah, you like them, don't you? Are significantly cheaper than they were at Target. Noteworthy. Well, like guys, if you want to check out the Target wall, but check down memory lane. Clean up on like a murder with police. I watch cheery stuff. Hey, you. No, you. You're charming. No, you're charming. No, oh, wow. you're charming. Just used Tide on uh, my laundry video. Got gains, bro. Got gains. <laughs> Could have used some of that at the first hotel I stayed at. There's a big bottle of right. canch. Which will be, I don't know. Yeah, we don't have any before we don't we? Yeah. Experience. It's also a one stop shop for parties. <laughs> That's, they've got that in Morrison's, don't they? Yeah, in Morrison's, like in Robin, we do have a little. Definitely. Like, you don't need to go anywhere else if you have Walmart. I'm so jealous. And Yadis. I always thought Croc was like defamatory. Like, people say, this is such a Croc. Of Oops. <laughs> I've heard that before. So I'm surprised you have butter cold country crop. Ah, embrace pet it, why not? Things. <laughs> like so much pet things. Also, I had to special order to you one of these off the internet. You guys just have them readily. Yeah, I've never seen a life jacket just being sold in a shop. Place. I was thinking about buying one of these for like <laughs> a sauna drive yeah. through or going to we need one for Archie. Movie. <laughs> but given the price, um, I think you guys are just 129 quid? Is that oh, dollars? That I did that joke. I thought it would cost more to I really care. feel for the models and actors who do Pulse stuff because I was one. Look at this dude. Chill out chair. He's like, oh, how many ways can I pose with this chill out chair? I really wish I'd gotten a cooler thing than the chill out chair. <laughs> I have never seen so many diet options in oh one my. place. Oh my. Yeah, there's a lot there. Just like in the supermarket. Diets. And I think there's another aisle down there. So this is how much I think it costs. Oh, does it go up even on the machines? Uh, I got one back. Okay. Ten cents. Oh, ten cents. I did 75p. Wait, they already added the tax? Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Standing beside oh, the right. stop sign because I think it's fitting. Um, so I went to pay, and they don't take tap or Apple Pay, Ooh, which is like that's confusing. The nineties. Yeah, we we, so we accept they that. Not take Apple Pay or tap. Crazy. Maybe you know in the comments. Shout out to a couple of very special people. Our first shout out comes from. Oh, Brian there you go. We, we we actually need to go. So if you want to check out mm -hmm. the shout yeah. out, shout out to them. Um, the link is in the description. Uh, but we're on a time limit, and I was like, I just looking at the time, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, we need to stop to end that here. The link to this video is in the description. Um, awesome video, but it's very 90s though. No it's Apple Pay or tap. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Not Let's make it go now. Not common anymore. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. We need to get ourselves to a Walmart. Way bigger than everything in mm -hmm. the UK, and it's just America, typical America, different scale, isn't it? Yeah. What should we do? Have fantastic. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.